Nation of Fit and 10. Welcome to day 59. And I'm going to crank up my light here. Cranked it up there. There we go. Oh, it's really bright though. 11 days to go. And I want to remind you guys to eat real whole food. I know you've heard me say it before, but I'll say it again. Eat real whole food. This, this is another, I'm going to say it depends on how, how off you are, how much on a percentage basis of real whole food you're eating, calorically speaking. Uh, but if you're way off, it is a game changer. It is a game changer. A lot of you, when you eat, when I see your food journals, not, not all of you, so I can't you know speak to everybody, but a lot of you, there are lots of little ingredients in there. And I really want to encourage you to think about eating basic, real, whole, basic foods, okay? So I'm going to give you an example here. Okay, and I, you know, you may, you, you might think like, you know, this is not normal or whatever, however you want to think about this. Maybe it's not something that you're used to doing, but, um, you know, I hate to speak about myself, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to here for a second. When I talk about real whole foods, it would be like, you know, so my breakfast this morning, I can't eat eggs right now. So I had to change up my breakfast because I, I have allergic reaction to eggs. So, you know, I would have eggs before and then just kind of deal with the consequences that being that i get i get these minor rashes on my legs um so i've decided to cut, cut it out um so but my breakfast is this morning you know i had some chicken i had uh some broccoli i had some oatmeal i had some berries in the oatmeal and i put a little bit of beef uh vanilla beef protein powder in my oatmeal as well okay so you know i i, I realized that Protein, uh, protein powder is not really real whole food, but uh, the rest of those foods are basic whole foods, okay? My next meal, I had a combination of chicken and bison, okay? I had some onion, again, I had some carrots and broccoli, and I had some potato. Uh, did I have potato? Yes, I have potato. Um, so again, it's just basic foods, okay? You can add a little bit of condiments in it. I, I, I add actually a little bit of ketchup to it, like even just 10 grams of ketchup, 10 to 15 grams of ketchup, which is like, you know, just a, um, you know, depending if it's 10 grams of ketchup, it's like three, three grams of sugar. Okay. So it's almost like nothing. Um, just for a bit of flavor. Of course I use spices and, and things like that, but think real basic foods. And, um, you know, these foods are, as I've said before, calorie sparse, very satiating, you will do much better if you eat basic, believe me. Uh, remember too, that um, when you're eating these processed foods, any of these foods that, that are packaged, uh, the companies that make these foods are allowed to be off by 20%. Okay, so if we're not eating real whole foods, then there is a chance that the food that you're eating is off by 20% in terms of what the, uh, the label claim is in terms of macros and calories, etc. Okay. So this is a little bit too bright. I'm turn this down. So, um, okay. Anyways, let's get to some questions here. This person did three resistance workouts, four cardiovascular sessions. Awesome. Name something specific you'd improve on for the following week. Sleep. Period. Eating more protein earlier in the day. Yeah, you need to eat protein. You need to, you want to get a good amount of protein at each meal. Okay, you, you can't store protein. So it's, you know, arguably the most important macronutrient to eat first thing in the morning or close to first thing in the morning, you know, close to waking up. Because you just don't really have any amino acids in your bloodstream. I mean, the body can always go towards reserves and what are reserves? Well, really muscle tissue would be reserves. We don't really want to do that. Okay. Uh, it's not like fat and carbohydrates that the body can store. Okay. Carbohydrates can be stored in the muscle. Fat can be stored in fat tissue and to some degree in the muscle. Um, and carbohydrates can be stored in the liver as well. So we have some stored reserves. We don't have this with protein, so make sure you get some protein first thing in the morning, a good amount. Reminder, you know, bread and nuts and nut butters and beans and, and things like that, these are not protein uh, strong foods, okay? They do have a little bit of protein, but we wanna get a high quality protein, something that's got all essential amino acids. 
Okay, so have something like eggs or cottage cheese or Greek yogurt, or something like that. Okay, uh, if you're if you're vegan, obviously be a little bit harder, but you know have some have something like tofu or something. And I do see some of these things. Um, they're not the best, but you know I've seen people eating. I think uh, I saw I was just checking uh, this morning. What did I see? I saw just eggs. Um, get a protein strong food first thing in the morning. Okay, have a protein shake, something like that. Sleep, yes. You want to make sure you're getting at least seven to, to nine hours of sleep a night if you can. Okay, if you can't get that in, in in a night, just go to bed early, start reading. This will help you, and it makes a big difference. It's a game changer. It is a game changer for cortisol. It is a game changer for um, bringing down your sympathetic nervous system, allowing your body to be more adaptive to stress that we put upon it. Okay, um, it's a good way of bringing down, uh, excuse me, or bring, uh, excuse me, bringing up your uh, your heart rate variability, your HRV. Okay, these are all things that you want to do. Okay, sleep is very very important, according to Dr. Matthew Walker. It is a major it is a major contributor to uh, lessening your chances of developing chronic disease, okay, especially neurological disease and cancer. That's what he says. Six, seven, uh, what am I here? Seven minutes? Okay, um, name something specific you need help with. Push-ups. Okay, um, I am going to shoot a video for this and I will post it. Actually, I already, I already shot it. Uh, and I'm gonna attach it to the end of this. So. Go to, uh, well, let me get the message of the day and I'll just attach it to the end of this video, okay? So, um, what is my message of the day on this day 59? Personal responsibility is the key to solving your problems. Just a reminder to you that if you take responsibility for your problems, you're much more likely to have them solved. If you want to blame them on other people or other things or, you know, circumstances or Whatever, if you if you want to take the position that it is not your responsibility, then your problems will never go away. Sucks, but it's the way it is. But if you believe that you can change things, if you believe you are responsible, okay, and it doesn't mean you are entirely 100% responsible, but, you know, generally speaking, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously I'm not a perfect person by any means, Generally speaking, if there's a situation that I'm not happy with, certainly there are probably some circumstances outside of my responsibility that had some effect. But ultimately, I can usually figure out certain things I could have avoided or certain things I could have changed to make the situation much better for myself. And sometimes it's just, you know, the truth hurts, right? The truth hurts sometimes. So take responsibility for your problems and then work on changing them. Find ways, get creative, okay? Eat real whole food, okay? Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself over these next two weeks, all right? Watch the video on push-ups here. Um, it's, uh, I go through it in some detail. Most important thing, in my opinion, on a push-up is shoulder positioning, okay? So watch the videos and let me know if you have any questions, okay? Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself for love of God, get some gratitude, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Push-ups are coming up right now. All right, so we're gonna run through some push-ups here. Uh, I'll go through the standard style of a push-up and then we'll go through some easier versions of doing this. The number one thing uh, that comes to mind when you do this is we, we don't wanna have any energy leaks when we do this. So what does that mean? It means that we want a firm shoulder base to press from. Okay, so very, very important when you're doing your push-ups that you're going to think about retracting and depressing your shoulders as you go through that push-up, okay? Or you can think of it as trying to put your shoulder blades, okay, your, your, your scapula, your shoulder blades down into your back pockets. Okay, so, um, standard way of doing a push-up, of course, is going to be off the toes. 
Width-wise, I'm going to ask that you take your, your hands a little wider than shoulder width. Okay, How, what's a little wider? Let's say somewhere between two to four inches out from your shoulders on each side. Okay, when you retract and depress those shoulders, you're going to find your elbows drop in a little bit. This is totally fine, okay? We don't want to have those elbows out and we certainly don't want the shoulders up. So, I'm going to set those hands up. Make sure the hands are aligned with your shoulders, not out in front. And I'm going to retract. And then I'm going to push down. This is the position we want to be in. Then we're going to try to get that chest to the floor and come up. The other thing we want to think about doing as well is holding that abdomen nice and tight. So you keep your abdomen nice and tight. We work on touching that chest to the floor and keeping the shoulders back and down. So they're held in that retracted and depressed position. If that's too hard for you, you can do something like this. You can go off of your knees, cross your feet if you like. Make sure that you are fully extended though from your knee all the way to your shoulder. That is, your hips are not up, okay? You're not flexed or bent at the hips. So we're gonna drop the hips down, shoulder blades retract and depressed, and go through that same motion again. Okay, if this is still too hard for you, same thing, okay, again, bracing through the abs, shoulders retract, depressed, and go halfway. Okay, but again, always try to get yourself, ask yourself as you go through each rep, are those shoulders locked in, okay?